Yeah, I think it's quite amazing, as you have just said. It is a historic stadium. Um, massive lights, massive field, grass looks good, wickets look good. I think it's very exciting to be here. Bit nervous and excited at the same time. Um, I think it's going to be good for our schools to actually get out of our comfort zone. Being in Pakistan for the first time with wickets like this, we're not really used to something like this. So I think it's going to be very challenging but exciting. And of course the heat. I mean, we're actually at night time, but it's probably like 40 degrees and we're sweating. But yeah, very exciting for this. I've picked up and I've Googled a bit. I reckon it's a lot like India, so it's slow and lower as they would say bit of grip and I think the older the ball gets the slower it's going to get so I think we have to pretty much target in the power play but I think my game is always the same if I'm the opening batsman at that stage I go hard and I show a lot of intent I think we've got to get ourselves in a good position with a power play so I won't take change too much but maybe just more straight and down yeah it's probably the most spinners I've seen in a, in a cricket team I think they only have one seamer but sometimes spin can go beneficial I mean if a spinner misses their length you can either go back or forward so I think once again maybe just choosing the right ball and attacking them at the right time yeah, so I put a lot of pressure on myself, which I'm trying to not. Um, I should just back myself and I'm good enough, but I do. So I wouldn't mind maybe scoring, a, I would normally say a 50, but I've got seven behind my name. So I wouldn't mind actually maybe scoring a century, even if it's in the T20 or in the ODI, but preferably in the T20. I mean, I'd like to get our team also to a better position in the power play. We didn't do that that well in the World Cup, um, Wolf and I. So maybe when we have a turn now, maybe we can try and push that 60, 70 in the power play and actually put our team in a better position to chase those 200s. Yeah, you always want it with the bat and the ball and all of those things, but I think maybe fielding. We under lights and it's a, you know, it's a, a night game, so I think under lights is going to play a massive part. We did a bit of fielding now now and you could see the girls, the minute the ball misses the light, we're not used to things like this. The last time I think it was four or five years in India. So lights are going to play a big part, but also seamers, spinners, hitting the right line and length and us batters, putting ourselves once again in a better position and attacking the bowlers, rotating strike, all the basics. But yeah, we've got to make sure we tick all of those boxes. Yeah, people are extremely friendly. Um, sometimes I wonder if they understand um, what we're actually saying or asking because they're just like, yeah, 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 but they're very, very friendly. Uh, we're staying in a great place, nice pool. We've got a nice game room there. Once again, the heat plays a massive part, but yeah, we've got to get used to that. But otherwise, nice people. Would have been nice maybe to do a bit more things, but unfortunately we are for cricket at the end of the day and that's the job.